The next component is what's called the automatic shutoff valve. Okay, this particular valve is used to shut the unit off when the tank is full and pressurized. Now there's a diaphragm in here and what happens is, is as you make good water it pushes against that diaphragm as it pressurizes the tank. Once that tank is pressurized to a certain point and it regulates, it pushes the diaphragm over and shuts the feed water off and shuts the system down. That's what stops the water going to the drain and that's what basically um, fills the tank and shuts everything off. Um, as you can see, there's screws on this side, screw heads, and on this side there is not. On all of our drawings, we're going to refer to these screw heads as a reference point. Um, on this particular ASO valve, the screw head side is always the permeate side of the ASO, so in other words, the clean water. The non-screw head side is going to be your feed water side, and then you're going to have an in and out port on the feed water. So we talked about the sediment filters e earlier um, and the pre-filters. The water leaving the last carbon block of the pre-filters is going to be the feed water of the membrane. So that's going to come to the end port on the non-screw side of the ASO, okay? Then from the out port of the non-screw side of the ASO is what we want to feed our membrane housing with. So now we know exactly what wire should, or what tube should go to the membrane housing. It's going to be the out from the non-screw head side. So we're going to push that back in there. Now on the other side is what we call the permeate side or the screw head side. So we're going to come from the center port of the membrane to the screw head side of the ASO. Now you can notice on here it doesn't show in or out because on the screw head side of the ASO it doesn't matter. It's whatever makes the most sense of how you have the system plugged. So I mean we could very well put this line in this orifice and this line in this orifice but then we'd have a bunch of elbows and it's just you know convoluted. So we're going to run from the permeate center port of the membrane housing to the screw head side of the ASO, out of the screw head side of the ASO, and then this is what would go to our post carbon filter that we took off earlier. We're going to snap that in place.